What's up folks? I wanted to give you a quick update on the Quality of Life project because knock on uh, whatever the hell this wood like material is, it's going to ship in like October or November, version 3. Version 3 was really ready to go uh, like a year ago, but we sent that to the managing partners, our partnership, and came up with a list of changes and then we did those and they came up with a second list of changes and we did those and they came up with a third list of changes and we did that and we ended up with a fourth list of changes but now all the changes are done and they're probably teasing me but I think it's going to ship uh, in October or November so what all have we done let's see the look for version 3, if you've seen it before, is different. The sidebar used to be always displayed unless you were in like, you know, phone mode. And it was how you selected metrics and it would have your different categories and you'd click that and then you'd have a menu and then you'd click back to go to a different one. Which is fine, but for GeoPortal, when I made its quality of life thing, I did a series of data tabs. You go through and pick. And they really, really like that. So they wanted that here. So now the sidebar is hidden by default. And you select what data you want to see right at the top. And you can see all the categories all the time and make your selection. Now, this is really cool. For us, it's a little tricky because we have nine categories. So and horizontal scrolling sucks so when I get to about there you gotta go back to using the sidebar to pick your metrics because there's just not enough room to get all those categories in there and picking out consolidating categories is, is just a uh, that's a non-starter so we've got the tabs up there to select metrics is quite nice I think sidebar is hidden by default you can now search for metrics like uh, We've got three different population ones, so you can use that to go through and find a metric as well. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, there's a full extent button. We have a, a person on the group that just uh, has fat fingers and scrolls and gets, you know, in a different part of the universe, and now they can just go back into wherever they were. We've got... Uh, let's get a metric with multiple years. We've got a time slider that is actually just an HTML5 slider that's set to snap to the nearest actual data point. You see here we have years spread out in quite different ways. And it also has a animated play pause so you can just step through them. So that's all good and happy. The next thing we did recently that I can still remember is uh, let's see just pick a few metrics here when you hover over the metrics in this table you can see where it is on the map this was a big deal for them I don't know why because if you get very much in the table you won't be able to see the map anymore but it you know it works the other thing you can do is kind of neat is up on the legend you can see exactly where these quantiles are and then you can click it and that quantile will be selected. You can see here they're all bunched together, which is kind of neat because you can uh, you can go to a different metric and see like say, I don't know, age of residence. See how that cluster of points spread out some, but it's still very much clustered down here. So you'd say the younger the res resident, the more likely they are to be in a higher population density, which is, you know, duh. But that's a thing. So those are the, the most recent changes. And now everything on, on all four of the wish lists is done, I think. If they come out with a fifth list, I'm going to, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to do the fifth list. But I won't be very happy, I'll tell you that. So this code is all out on GitHub. Uh, th the other thing I did, and I think I mentioned this before, is it, it's now a progressive web app. So you can, uh, if 
it'll load offline. This is for not Safari, not IE. It'll load offline. It don't really it doesn't really work offline, and it will give you a a uh, this message up here. Hey, you're online. Some things may not work until you get reconnected. But it'll load offline, which is better than the dinosaur. And I'll prompt to put an icon on, say, your, your phone screen if you use it a couple times. And because everything's cached by the service worker, it, it tends to load quite a bit faster. So yay! Anyway, that's the quality of life version 3. With any luck, this thing is shipping soon. If it doesn't ship this year... Well, truth is, it won't do anything. Uh, I'll complain, so you get to hear that. But uh, it'll ship when it ships. But they wanted two things off of their remaining stuff from the four wish lists. And then they were willing to wait on the rest of it for this month's development cycle, which is October. Actually got everything from their wish list done. So, knock on wood, this will be shipping. And that's the latest quality of life update. This is all out on GitHub. Uh, there is a Charlotte branch and a master branch. And right now those are in sync. If Charlotte, uh, not Charlotte, but Mecklenburg County and Charlotte and UNCC and stuff uh, decide to do some things that I think are maybe not the best design wise. I'll just leave those in the Charlotte branch. Otherwise those will get merged into master. Right now, those things are in sync. Not like the band. All right. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.